Well then, morning, right? Having a busy morning. Um, some stuff that was out of my comfort zone, but now I'm doing something that I enjoy doing, and that's back to cooking. Well, today I'm going to show you how to knock up a quick, easy, simple cheesecake. Uh, some simple ingredients that you can all get at the supermarket, even your small supermarket. So, again, get the kids involved. It's so basic. You can build on onto this and start designing your own cheese. Once you, once you know the basics, you can start designing your own cheesecakes. You can whack on your, your little fancy stuff, your flakes and all that kind of stuff and make some superb. I've seen some cracking ones on Facebook that some of my friends have been doing. Uh, obviously, they enjoy baking each time. I'm not a lover of uh, messing on with cheesecakes. I generally show my guys how to do them and then probably don't do them for the next three or four years. So, yeah, again, I show them the basics and then they build them from that and make some absolutely fantastic cheesecakes. Like I said, Facebook is full of them. Uh, and you guys, what you do with your and your, and your bake is absolutely superb, second to none. And I'd, have, I'd be honest, I'd have most years in my kitchen. Uh, the amount of stuff you put in into cooking, it's absolutely fantastic. So, well done, you guys who are trying. Right, some basic ingredients. I'm going to go through them now. These are my daft basic ingredients. Um, first of all, we should the base. So, we're going to mix a bit of simple digestive biscuits with some ginger nuts. Uh, I like that combination of flavour. Uh, gives it a bit of a, the ginger gives it like a touch more. I don't know, a bit more kick, a bit more what we call, I don't know, a sweet spice maybe to it with the ginger nut. Um, you can use Rice Krispies in there, you can use cornflakes in there. It's a lot of stuff that people use these days. Uh, you put some cocoa powder in there, even some melted chocolate. So we're going to blitz them down in the blender. Uh, you can use an old-fashioned rolling pin. with uh, Just put it into a freezer bag, give it a good bash with a rolling pin. Um, you can just put it into a bowl with a rolling pin at the end. And just give it a good uh, bash down eventually they'll all break up so don't worry it's just uh, do what you feel comfortable with if you've got a robot cook or if you've got like a machine like that it's simple as well again flavored cheesecake i've just got a bag of frozen berries from the supermarket i've seen them there picked them out but at the moment there's some fantastic strawberries out there all in season uh the brambles won't be long decent ones i'd say one we usually pick um, but frozen ones are ready. I say I'm only using these because they're readily available in the in the freezer. So I'm just showing you how simple it can be. So no matter what month it is, and you can dock with cheesecake. But yeah, have a go at all different flavors: chocolate chip, lemon lime, and anything any one. I'm using lime, lem, uh, some some lemons today. Uh, a lot of people make cheesecakes. They bake them with eggs in. Uh, some put gelatine in them to set them. I've even seen people melt the old jelly blocks. Uh, strawberry jelly blocks you can trifles kind of thing uh, melt them and put them in to set it so i've seen all sorts of ways there's no right way there's no wrong way no right way you can do it any way you please as long as you eat it uh, today i'm using cream cheese uh, again soft cheap stuff the one i use at work like a, a, it's a full fat hard cheese well full fat cream cheese and it's hard so you don't have to put anything in it i like the flavor of mascarpone love it um full of full of cream full of fat beautiful flavor and i want to add it with add a bit of condensed milk um again, again like i said before this stuff here is absolutely amazing it's fantastic for like some desserts so i want to mix the lemon with the cream cheese with the condensed milk if you can't get condensed milk normal cream but i'm trying to show you that this is very available you can keep it in the cupboards for as long as you want cream cheese has a good date in it also so i want to flavor lemon the lemon will actually help it set the lemon the cream the cream cheese will actually cause a chemical reaction and it'll set I know one or two people will explain to me why. Um, Sean Wilkie's a, our little uh, scientist, chemistry chef, so he'll probably explain why that, why that happens, just I just know it does. And obviously to melt the biscuit base, we've got some melted butter. Now, I usually, as a rule of thumb, whatever biscuits I'm using for the base, say for example, 300 grams, I'll use 150 grams of butter. That's what I usually use. So it's not too hard in there, and not too soft so it flakes away. But try it if you want a bit more, a bit more, a bit less, a bit less. It's entirely up to you, but that's a rule of thumb. I usually do it that way. And I've got a tin there that I've just bought. So I wanted a... Uh, it's a release tin. First time I've used it. Icing sugar to calm the tartness down of the, of, the, of the fruit. I've even got a touch of brandy there, which I haven't bought. It was to... Uh, be honest, one of the neighbours passed away. And we all had a glass of brandy to salute him driving past in his little... In his hearse. So I've kept a bit of that, I don't want to whack that in, so uh, as long as the kids don't get drunk on it, I'm not bothered. So yeah, I'm going to do the zest of three lemons and the juice of three lemons, add it with our mix, uh, and let's see what happens there, all right? All right, I've got some of the biscuits in my blender, let's give it a, let's give it a whiz. Okay. 
once all your biscuits are done into a bowl and now I have done them a little bit bigger if you can see so I'm going to show you, you don't need a blitzer really a rolling pin will do exactly the same thing, it takes a bit longer but you have a little pressure, just play around with it again get one of the kids to do it cheap labour yeah, get them all broken down, it's all nice and fine again like I said, put cocoa powder in there, melt a bit of chocolate into there white chocolates, crispies, cornflakes Special care, completely anything you want. A good mixture of different kind of biscuits, malted milk, gluten free, whatever you like. Get it all mashed up so it's nice and small. The biscuits is all how you want them. Eat melted butter. Use butter, not margarine, by the way. Melted butter. The people have put a bit of honey in there, or a bit of golden syrup. Pack your butter in there. Get a good mix. Once mixed thoroughly, it'll change colour. And what happens is. It will set, so if you squeeze it hard, you know that will set. Again, not too much butter. Uh, and let's say adjust it as you go along, however you like it. So each time you make it, build it. So we're now we're going to put it into the tin and then compress it down with the back of a spoon. And I say press it down, get it all spread how you want it. And the back of a spoon. So once you get a, keep it even, as best you can. Again, it just doesn't have to be perfect. It's for you, it's for your family, it's for your kids. So... And once it's in, start rubbing it gently in the back of the spoon to start to smooth it out. That's it. Build the sides up if you have to. You've got a bit more in there. Just build the sides up. A touch. But once it's in, just smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Try and get as even as you can. That butter will help us set, so don't worry. Then you just want to... You know, one slice to be thick and one slice to be thin. And we're roughly all the same. Like I say, it's all there, nice and smooth, even as I can get it, it's just slightly up the side. Right, that's the base done. Put it into the fridge for about, I don't know, 10-15 minutes, just while you do the cheesecake mix. But in here, I've got uh, five tubs of that cream cheese. Um, 200 grams each they are, so I've got five tubs in there, so there's your kilo. I've got your mascarpone in there, which is about 250 grams. I'm going to put a bit of sugar in now. Again... I, I don't really measure the sugar, I just do it with taste, so whatever fruit I'm putting there, if it's sharp, put a bit of sugar in and that just counter, counteracts it with the, this counteracts the lemon and the sharpness. So I just change as I go along, so I can put, I'd say what, two tablespoons full in, and then we can always add more if need be, after we put this kind of stuff in. So the cream cheese in there, which I'm going to mix, be careful when you turn this on, because the, uh, the dust will go all over the place. And also... I've got me condensed milk. Beautiful. Again, you can use double cream. Uh, you get the same chemical reaction with the lemon juice. Lemon zest. I've got three lemons there, but they are small. Small lemons. So zest of three and the juice of three. Use one great big one or use two big ones. I've used three small anyway, it's all I could get. And that's it. Can we give that a good mix up now? Instead, just put a good mix up. Nice and smooth, nice and creamy. Take a minute. Next, I'm going to put in our lemon. Mix it a bit of lime if you want as well. You want it all in there. All the zest as well. Just all the lemon in. The mixture will start to thicken after you've whisked it for a, little, a minute or so with the lemon in. And then whatever flavouring you want. Like I said, I've got the berry berries. I got them a while ago and I put them in the freezer. Again, strawberries available. Whack some chopped strawberries or whack them in the blender. Get a nice coolie out with them. And uh, have, the, have your raspberries in there, your, your strawberries. 
blackberries, chocolate, you name it, it's endless, honestly. You can, this is just like I say, I said to you, this is basic. You can uh, be elaborate as you want. Any flavour you want, toffee, put toffee in there, uh, rum and raisin, anything you want. I'm going to put a bit of touch, touch of this bad boy, nice bit of brandy, just to give it a kick. Why not? A bit of Bailey's, tea Maria, they go down well. Um, but I've got a spoonful, put some spoonful of these uh, berries in. Again, not too much. I'm trying to get too much of the juice because we don't want to water it down either. I say I know people have put like gelatine in or veggie gelatine, but with lemon juice, you don't really have to. Well, I've never had to anyway. Some some berries in there that'll flavour it. With this again, you could cook that down to a syrup and put it on top. You can add some gelatine, warm it up with some gelatine through it or veggie gel. And put that on top of the cheesecake and that'll sit like a jello on top. So you like the fruit of the forest cheesecake with like berries on top. Which I'm not going to do it today. I haven't got no gelatine anyway. But we just uh, soak some, soak a couple of leaves of gelatine. So, I don't know, two leaves of gelatine. Then we want with a pan with a bit of this. And then just put that on top of the finished cheesecake and that'll set nicely. But we're not going to do it today. We're going to blitz all this in there and get a nice flavour. And now it's all mixed up. Got a lovely colour. Again, it's up to you. This is entirely up to you now. Take a taste. Taste it. Is it too sweet? Is it too sour? No, no brandy. Um, if it's too sweet, you put a bit more of that liquid in. That'll make it a bit sharper. That'll counteract it. If it's too sharp, put a bit more sugar in. A bit more um, icing sugar. Uh, that's actually spot on, actually. It's how I like it. Um, so that's spot on. But I say you can add more if you've got a sweeter tooth, put more in. If you want more fruit in, put more in. Do it all to taste, have a taste, see what you think. And again, next time, have another go, change something else. So we're going to put that into our tin. I say it's an easy way to get the kids involved. No need to do now. Put the mixture. There will be too much mixture because this is just a fair sound whacked in. But I'm going to show you what you can do. Any remaining mixture. So. Whack it to the level we want, like so, and just let it fall and find its own level. How do we do it one handy here, tell you? That's it. Nice and smooth. Nice and level. And that is it. We'll let that set in the fridge for a couple of hours and then we'll have a look see what we've got to garnish it. Maybe put some berries on with a bit of brandy, I don't know. But we'll have a look later on. So yeah, put as much as you want in. And put that in the fridge, let it set. If you happen to do have mixture left, which I've got a spoonful, don't need to waste it. Get uh, get the wife's gin glass, make sure it is there so she can keep off the gin. Whatever berries left over, push some more. Just to show you if I had leftovers. Whack a bit of biscuit in there. I'm going to put that on top. Whack a few berries on top. I screw the mint. And there he is. Simple, simple cheesecake. Knocked up. Again, you can do four of them for, for dinner, for lunch, for Sunday lunch or anything. Do small glasses, wine glasses. People use martini glasses. Do whatever you want. So rather than making a big cheesecake, I'm going to tin. Whack them in glasses. Honestly, it's so, so easy, so simple to do. And so easy to build from that. Like I said, I can show you all sorts of flavours, all sorts of garnish, but like I said, it's up to you guys. Have a little play. But that's your basic bakery cheesecake. Be clever and I think we just melt a bit of sugar down. Maybe creative and just do a bit of sugar work, which I, again, I haven't done for absolutely ages. Just little springs, little coil springs and stuff. A little round, and that'll garnish it. That'll go on a little dinner table. Impress the wife, you never know. All right, just something daft. All right. Well, get cooking, guys. Show me what you've done. Send them over. And uh, keep cooking. Stay safe. Here we go. A couple of hours later. All done. That's been in the fridge about two and a half hours. So, the thing is off. Let's have a look, see what it looks like. Nice warm knife under the top. And...
There we have nice bit of cheesecake. Okay, so we've got the berries and left over. Two berries. And we've got a little bit of a, a sieve from those berries. This is on top. Perfect for the kids. All done. All done. Just simple, basic cheesecake recipe. Bit of berries, bit of syrup on it, all done. Alright. So garnish how you want, save it how you want, that'll do the kids. Hi guys, if you enjoyed the videos and like what you're seeing, um, do me a favour, see that YouTube button down there, that subscribe button. Just give it a, just give it a press, because the more subscriptions I get, the more I can do, the more I can keep helping you. I enjoy doing these, so hit the like button, one of that one, just give it a click, and hit that one there. And let's keep cooking and let's stay safe, okay? Rock on.